Welcome back. It's time for our monthly Grant Thornton deal tracker. Overall, deals have seen a bit of a slide in August, but private equity players have been quite busy. Prashant Mehra is now joining in to give us the details. Prashant, it seems that overall M&A action has been down, but it's the PE space that's been buzzing. Give us the details and why do you think this has happened? Yeah, I should be. Uh, so July actually witnessed about 2.6 uh, or $7 billion of transactions, uh, which is about a 50% growth in deal values and volumes over the same period last year. Uh, as you said rightly, largely, you know, the growth was driven by private equity investments, which contributed about $1.7 billion uh, across over 100 transactions, uh, which is multiple times growth both in deal values and volumes as compared to August 14. Uh, m and yes, is subdued. Uh, the deal volumes have remained the same, but deal values have come down by about 20% uh, with respect to August 14. Uh, and also, interestingly, you know, the large part of uh, m and transactions has actually been driven by inbound investments. Uh, so the Prime Minister's uh, mantra of make in India seems to be working. Mm. I want to focus on the private equity buzz, particularly in the e-commerce space, because th that's where the headline really was, right? With Snapdeal picking up that mega investment from a clutch of Foxconn, SoftBank, and even Alibaba. Is that a trend that you expect to continue? Oh, yes, most definitely. I think, you know, with the overall macro level uh, indicators looking positive, private equities as a community will continue to uh, be interested in making investments in India. Uh, and yes, e-commerce being a sector which, give, which is the perfect blend of technology and the consumer uh, will probably be the flavor of the month and continue to be the flavor of the month for the private equity community. All right. So beyond IT, which are the other sectors where you're seeing consider considerable momentum now build up in terms of either private equity or M&A? Uh, so as far as M&A is concerned, uh, you know, 70 percent uh, or more of deal values have actually together come from, you know, hot sectors which have been there in the past, IT, ITES, uh, pharma and healthcare, and a new entrant uh, this time with media and entertainment as well. Uh, private equity, uh, uh, same as the previous months, uh, more than 50% of deal volumes have actually been driven by IT, ITES. And what about value when we're talking about ITES deals, whether it's private equity or m and uh, Do you see valuations also, you know, sort of soaring higher with every passing deal? Is that a trend that you'd expect to play out? Uh, so, you know, very interestingly, as compared to last year, the average ticket size of private equity investments is coming down. Uh, but the volumes are increasing tremendously. Uh, and and with, for, the, for that reason, the volumes are also increasing. Uh, but yes, valuations are going up. As I mentioned earlier, I mean, you know, with the perfect blend of technology and consumer, uh, this is something which will probably continue to drive the M&A and private equity investment for the next quarter uh, uh, to come. Okay, so e-commerce and IT, ITS is where the action seems to be. Thanks, Prashant, so much for joining in with those trends. With that, we are out of time on this edition of Reporters Diary. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned. Lots more coming up on CNBC TV 18.